we've created this wildfire of enthusiasm and interest in running and we've got deadly running programs, we've got coaches right around the country. It's always special to come out here with one of our biggest icons and to do it with a big group of Indigenous kids is going to be fantastic. Running changes your, your body but it also changes your brain chemistry, it changes the way you feel about yourself. We can talk about elite sport, but I, I think just building healthy, strong, young people, and, and particularly in our Indigenous communities, we need strong leaders. We need our young generation to feel that they can be in leadership roles. I'm looking forward to running around the rock. Last time I had great memories of just you know, running with one of the young kids, just giving him a bit of a boost and um, making him have a, a great moment, uh, a day that he can remember, because that's what Olympians all hold on to. We created a moment that we all hold on to and it's in our memories, but we want kids to feel that same thing. I feel super lucky. I've bumped into an old friend, Kendall. We ran last time together in their fun run, so we've made a, a game plan to do it again today. And yeah, we did it, mate. I think we were faster this year. Yeah. We were pretty awesome together. The closer I get to the rock, the more I could feel it. It was quite amazing. Spiritual feeling being out here and uh, touching the, the dust and everything, the sand and running it through your fingers, it's just a special experience. Some people had some, some very powerful stories and brought some very powerful gifts to give to the elders. And it was something that you only get to experience at once and it was amazing. This is a celebration of this incredible place that we're all at and a celebration of all of the coming together of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island countries from all across Australia. So, so we want you to enjoy it and don't just look at the ground, make sure you look up at the rock. <laughs> Just to come here and learn about all the different communities that have actually gathered in the centre of Australia has just been amazing. The opportunity for kids to meet Olympians doesn't happen all the time. I think it's going to be a great chance and I hope that after listening to some of our stories they do definitely go home with the thought and the dream and the, the desire to become Olympians. I think it'll be an amazing opportunity to be able to try to start that little seed in their head. Hopefully we can inspire the kids. It's not just the physical attributes, but the um, psychological and the, you know, the mental toughness it takes to run is pretty special. For us Olympians here, it's been unreal just to understand a bit more about their journey themselves, and it's been inspiring for us. They're trying to convey a message, trying to promote good health and good habits, and they're trying to integrate that into the community a little bit better than just going for a run. It's, that's what Olympics is about, is, is doing your best and, and, and giving it a good crack. There are young children who are putting one foot in front of the other in their deadly running group. They're sacrificing a lot and they're dealing with a lot of negativity in their life, but they're pushing through that and doing something powerful with this deadly running program. Kids running and from over 20 communities coming together and that really, you know, makes me feel really proud to see that we're heading in the right direction. We've got to continue to run, sweat, inspire. Run, sweat, inspire!